it's Coach Mazzoni, pitching coach at Sacred Heart University. And yes, even though our team is 17 games into the year, it is still cold enough to be wearing my winter hat here uh, at this time of day. Um, I'm here with Figured Out Baseball, and it's a five-part series on the changeup. This is video number two. Video number one was why you need a changeup. So if you haven't seen that video yet and you're not sold on absolutely needing a changeup for this season, then you need to go back and watch that video. This video here today, video two, we're here to talk about the mindset of the changeup. And the reality is in life, in baseball and in pitching, your mindset is the first thing that needs to be in order before anything else will happen, right? Our thoughts produce actions and our actions produce results. So the mindset of a changeup, when it's wrong on most young kids that I see, is that they think of the changeup as this pitch they're gonna throw and they're really gonna fool the hitter. They're gonna take so much velocity off, they're gonna go eight, 10, 12 miles an hour slower, and they're gonna throw this kind of babied pitch to the plate, and that's gonna completely get the hitter out front and fool the hitter. The reality is that mindset does a couple of things. Number one, you telegraph the pitch, okay? If, if the hitter can see a changeup coming, in essence, it's not a changeup, it's just a slower pitch. That's number one. Number two is when you have this sort of squirrely mindset on the changeup, a few things happen. Number one, it's hard to have actual accuracy on the pitch and make the pitch have action. A great changeup has action. It'll have either run, arm side run, lefty will run, arm side righty, the same thing, or sink. The best changeups have both. And that's what the next video will talk about is the different grips and options that you can have to explore and get a changeup that's gonna work for you. Um, in video number four, we'll talk about the drills that you can do to develop this changeup. And then in the last video, I'm gonna show you big leaguers that guys you see all the time and how great their changeup is. But again, back to the mindset now. The mindset is you're attacking the batter with your changeup. It's an attacking pitch. When you see this coming from your catcher, you should be pumped and go attack. And you're gonna attack with your body, with your delivery, with great push, with great arm speed, great arm action. And by doing what we're gonna do in the next video, by having the proper grip and mechanics of the pitch, by having the right intent that you're gonna attack the hitter with your changeup the same way you'd attack with a fastball, the same way that you would attack with a, a slider or a curveball for a strikeout, you're gonna attack with a changeup. So the, the key thing that you need to realize is that when a changeup is called, you need to have an aggressive attacking mindset. I'd much rather see a changeup be four to six miles an hour slower than your fastball, but with incredible movement than having it be eight and 10 miles an hour slower and then have no action and just be a slower pitch that the hitter can recognize and then it stays on plane, it stays on the barrel and they crush that ball. So again, it's Wayne Mazzoni, pitching coach, Sacred Heart University, here with Figure It Out Baseball. Please have an attacking mindset on your changeup, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which will be about the changeup grips and options for you with your changeup.